My name's Josh and I'm at Tommy Rock Studios today and today I'm going to be testing out some distressors, them bad boys there, and comparing them to the Slate FG Stress. Um, thanks to Mita for letting me use them. If you like this kind of video then subscribe because I can definitely do way more things like this in the studio. Um, lots of comparisons, gear comparisons, audio examples and that kind of thing. Um, I'd appreciate it. So time to compare some audio examples. The way I've set this up is I have five audio examples that I'd commonly use a distressor on. I used the plugins to get them to sound how I wanted them to and then matched those settings to the hardware. So the attack, release, distortion settings, the detector settings are all matched. I did have to adjust the input and output on the hardware just so I could match the gain reduction because they are slightly different. And then I adjusted the output so I could level match them as well as I did a small bit of level matching in Pro Tools just so we're not fooled by loudness. I think that all makes sense. So in this session, I have five audio examples each of which has a raw version, a plug-in version, and a hardware version. I'll play through all three versions at first, and then I'll flick between the plug-in and distressor. I will edit this video so it's obvious which one we're listening to at any given time. Also for the fifth comparison at the end of the video, I'll do a blind comparison. So comment which one you think is the plug-in or the hardware. Genuinely curious to know if you think one sounds better than the other and whether it's the plug-in or hardware. Um, and then I'll post the results within a couple of weeks in the comments. I'll start with the first audio example. This is a drum bus, um, so just a stereo drum mix. This is the raw version. This is the Slate FG Stress. And this is the real distressor. Now I'll flick between the two, the plug-in and the hardware. I'll start with the plug-in. The second audio example that I'm using is just a drum loop from Splice. This is the raw version. This is the Slate FG Stress. And this is the Hardware Distressor. Now flick between them, starting with the plugin. Feel free to go back and have another listen, um, but we'll move on to the third example. This is bass guitar. This is the raw bass file. This is the Slate FG Stress. And this is the Hardware Distressor.
Now flick between them, starting with the plugin. The fourth audio example is a vocal. This is the raw vocal. And upside down and inside out. You spin me round, you spin me out. Look at your face to calm me down. Blue ocean eyes dive in and drown. This is the slight FG stress. And upside down and inside out. You spin me round, you spin me out. Look at your face to calm me down. Blue ocean eyes dive in and drown. And this is the hardware distressor. And upside down and inside out. You spin me round, you spin me out. Look at your face to calm me down. Blue ocean eyes dive in and drown. Now flick between them, starting with the plug-in. And upside down and inside out. You spin me round, you spin me out. Look at your face to calm me down. Blue ocean eyes dive in and drown. And before we get to the final blind example, I will say that I don't really want to share my opinions on which one I think is better because I don't want you to have some kind of bias of just agreeing with me or disagreeing with me. I want you to make up your own mind on which one you think sounds better. Um, yeah, I just don't want to influence what you think of the shootout because then it wouldn't be fair. So for the final example, it's pretty crazy. It's going to be trash, trashy sounding drums. Um, I've got it on the nuke setting, the high pass in the detector circuit and distortion three. So pretty crushed sound. Um, but it's kind of why I wanted to do this one as the blind one because it is a lot of compression. It sounds very out of control, even the raw one, because there's a ribbon microphone in the hallway outside of the drum room. So it sounds huge. This is the raw file. This is example A. This is example B. Now flick between example A and B. Feel free to go back and have a listen again. Um, make up your mind on which one you think is the plugin and which one you think is the hardware. Comment down below A or B. Um, I'm very curious to know. Without the visual stimu stimulus of looking at which one's which, um, I think it'll be pretty tough. Even if you're unsure, just have a guess um, because I am curious to know. And then I'll post the results within a couple of weeks after there's enough people that have seen it and have put their opinions. So if you like this kind of video, then like the video and subscribe because I can definitely post more content like this comparing different pieces of equipment, doing audio examples, um, mixing, mastering tutorials, editing, anything audio I'm happy to do because I love doing this kind of stuff, honestly. But thanks so much for watching. You can check out joshbartellmastering.com if you are wondering what I do. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.